Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Stable Diffusion tutorial where in this one I'm going to show you how to remove the background from images because we keep generating images and there's no way to separate foreground from background uh, without doing some fancy depth map stuff. So to do this we are going to install an extension. There's a link in the description. Just copy this and we are going to install it and then use it. So once you've copied the URL go to extensions, install from URL and then paste it. Click install. I've already done this and then you are gonna want to apply and restart your UI. So we've installed the extension and we're restarting the UI so it is, it is applied into our automatic 11.11. Now, all we have to do is generate an image and remove the background. So let's say, and you can use any model for this. I'm using realistic vision. You can use standard, you know, stable diffusion 1.5. So I'm gonna say a bald man smiling. That is gonna be my prompt and we are going to remove the background of whatever this gives us. Okay, in this case, it's pretty simple. It's a great background, but we still want to remove it. So once you have your image, go to send to extras. This is where the remove background lives. You can see in extras, uh, we have removed background and we want to resize by one. I don't want to do any resizing, so I'm keeping it at one. And then for the remove background, you have a couple options. You can play around uh, in general. If you have a human, maybe use human seg, which I think stands for human segmentation. Uh, if you have a different subject, uh, you can use a different one and you can play around with these. But I'm gonna click generate. And now you can see it's completely removed the background. So we can actually go into the files here and download this as a PNG, or you could just right click, save image as PNG. Let's try generating another one. Uh, maybe with a more complicated background. Uh, let's say forest in the background because it keeps giving us uh, gray images. So I just want to make sure that it works with more complicated things. So here we go. We have a man smiling. He's bald. Great. And there's a forest in the background. Send to extras. Uh, again, I'm going to use human segmentation. I'm going to click generate. And uh, look at that. It's separated. Uh, for other kinds of generations, I found that a uh, U2Net works pretty well, uh, depending on your thing. Uh, but, you know, that, 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 that's the thing. So hopefully this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video. And if you found uh, this video helpful and you like what I do, there's a link to Patreon in the description where you can support what I do directly and keep these tutorials coming. Thanks for watching.